if you are not doing covers of trending songs or sounds, what are you doing? Ladies and germs, it's your best friend, Lusion. Today we're gonna talk about the infamous TikTok. TikTok is the number one app right now in all different genres of apps. There is absolutely no denying that TikTok is completely ruling the music industry right now. So many artists and songs are popping off because of TikTok itself. And not only has YouTube or Vine or stuff like that happened in the past, but nothing has a quicker turnaround as a result of success than TikTok has provided ever. And with year 22 around the corner, it's only gonna get bigger. So in this video, I wanna give you any type of tips or advice from my experience on how to get your songs viral on TikTok. Little backstory, how I successfully went viral on TikTok with my songs. Prior to ever using TikTok, I was on YouTube 24 seven, had a thousand subscribers to my name, and every week I was pushing out lo-fi remix videos. If J. Cole made lo-fi hip hop, if Lil Pump made lo-fi hip hop, if Comethazine made lo-fi hip hop, that was my thing. So come June 2019, I treated the Jonas Brothers big song Sucker just like any other song I would remix because it was trending and pretty funny to make any type of remix from that from a pop song like that So I made it into if the Jonas Brothers made SoundCloud rap put it over like an Ian Dior Juice World type beat Barely did anything on YouTube, but on June 10th I brought it to TikTok and I was very inspired by Vine of how they just did like six seconds And for me, I have a really short attention span I kind of put my shoes in to the viewer and I was like the shorter the better. Let's get straight to the point so so this was my video that I put up. That stupid six, eight second long video blew up. And to me at that time, blowing up was like 2000 likes. I've never seen numbers like that before ever. So long story short, cause I had a huge arsenal of remixes, started posting twice a day. And within two weeks, I gained 100,000 followers on TikTok. But I didn't do it alone. As always, shout out to my incredible wife, Six. If it wasn't for her, I would have never had the idea to remix the certain songs or add the certain sound effects that I did if it wasn't for her. She knew remixes and music itself wasn't enough, so it was her great creative mind to say, hey, use this sound effect so that way TikTok creators can interact with the sound itself, make dance trends or lip sync it or do anything like that. And that's how it all started. So fast forward two years of my TikTok career. During quarantine, I had some of my biggest moments. I remixed Super Lonely and that got like 7 million likes and just insane. TikTok is a scary beast of an app and it can be a blessing and curse. And you gotta be careful with that going into the next year. Now with backstory out of the way, I was skeptical for a while to make this video because at the time I didn't wanna give away any secret sauce or whatever. At this point, everything's pretty much out. Everything has pretty much been done. And the reason why I gave you that backstory is because to be honest, I don't think anyone could really come up the way I did at that time. No one was really doing music related stuff. No one was really using the sounds as a way to put your own music in there which is why I'm making this whole video to explain to you how I think the app in the next year is gonna take its course. So with all that said, TikTok itself, the algorithm is beyond unique more than any other social media platform that I've seen. YouTube algorithm is definitely pretty tricky and as I'm sure a lot of you know, but TikTok is a prime example I'm gonna I'm I'm get a little real for a second, okay? I can be honest. I'm a verified TikTok creator with 3.8 million followers. And one day, I can post a video and it doesn't hit the For You page. That is a very key term. If I post a video and it doesn't hit the For You page, it can get anywhere from a thousand likes to 20,000 plays, which sucks. That's not great. That means I did not hit it. And those 3.8 million followers, they don't see your video because it doesn't pop up on their For You page. And I don't know if it's just me. I've talked to a lot of TikTok friends, people that use it. Majority of people don't really use the following option. They kind of just watch the For You and kind of just stick with that. And if your video does well, it'll be seen by more people, including a lot of your followers. Take my wife's TikTok account, for example. Right now she's at 75,000 followers, yet she is still capable of getting videos with more likes and more plays than a verified creator with almost 4 million followers. And sure, people can be negative and make jokes about someone falling off or they're not relevant anymore, but the harsh reality of it is you can be the biggest thing on TikTok and a week later, everyone's on to the next thing. And that's a key thing. Trends and whatever's trending, sounds, dances, certain songs, it's very rare for it to stay trending more than two weeks to a month. It's very rare. So going into the new year, if you wanna go on TikTok, try to get your music out there. It's gonna be very competitive. 
but use that as a drive to stay creative because even a verified creator like myself, it has done nothing but push me to make better content. This is exactly why I was fortunate enough to upgrade my equipment and it look great and I present myself better with it and I'm proud of the work that I come out with it. I know a lot of people that just throw it to the wall, hoping it blows up, it doesn't blow up within a day and then they give up. So make this a goal if this is something you really wanna do crack down on it, be consistent with it, but most importantly, have fun and be creative. Feel free to take this time to like and subscribe if you wanna see more videos like this. Now that we got the more broad stuff out of the way, to be a little bit more specific, here's how I think you can get your music out there. If you're a producer like myself, I highly suggest remixes, paying attention to the trending sounds, manipulating the sound bites and sound effects or whatever the case is into your own music because you have an extremely higher chance getting onto the For You page if your video and content is related to anything that's trending. It's very difficult to make brand new original content and to hit on the For You page. It can happen, and it does, every day. And that's how new trends get started. You could be that person when I first entered the app and I started something completely new. But again, that was two years ago. A lot has changed since then. Now, if you're a singer, a vocalist, a rapper, anything like that where you want to utilize your face, your persona, and most importantly, your vocals, if you are not doing covers of trending songs or sounds, what are you doing? That is a huge, huge recognizable thing for people on the For You page hearing the same songs over and over again. And it's not like the radio where you get sick of the song. TikTok somehow created this monster of an app where you get addicted to these 10 second clips of songs. So if you're scrolling and you see someone singing a cover in maybe a partially comedic way or in a creative way, or in a cinematic way or anything like that, people are gonna recognize that. And of course, if you are good. That goes for guitar players, that goes for brass players. If you play any brass instrument, trombone, saxophone, trumpet, and you didn't do a cover of Industry Baby, you slept. It's thinking like that that can really go far. Now to wrap up my whole theory with this, let's say you do it, you catch the For You page, your video's flying, you're getting followers, you're getting comments, and you go from 40,000 likes in a day to five million likes in a week. That is your responsibility, your opportunity to take hold on that, capitalize it as much as possible, and stay consistent with it. That's why a lot of people just try to do shock value videos and try to get viral and then they do and then they don't have content to follow it up on. So you really got to figure out a way to create fantastic content that you can constantly do if you're lucky enough to hit the For You page and it goes viral. With that being said, hate to be negative Nancy, but I'm just trying to give you the reality of things as well. There's also a big chance if you do get to the For You page and let's say your video gets 40,000 likes in a day and you're like, oh my God, that's the most likes I've ever seen in my life. I have two followers and now you have 15,000 followers. There is that harsh reality where it's hard to get that back again. But all I can say is please do not get discouraged this year. Just keep pushing because I promise you TikTok is not going anywhere downhill. It is only going up from here and it's gonna get more competitive and it's also gonna get more successful. So I highly suggest you take everything I had to say with a grain of salt. Disclaimer, this is my experience, these are my opinions. And after being on the app for two years and seeing it change every week for two years straight, I think I kinda have an understanding of how it all works. So just a little recap. Number one, pay attention to trends. Figure out how you can work your own magic within those trends, think bigger, get inspired by what other people are doing. Don't copy, because people will notice. There's new trends every single day, every single week, and start capitalizing on that. And it's very easy to miss the boat. Number two, be ready for the day you go viral or hit the For You page, and make sure you have good and consistent content to back it up for weeks to come after that. Number three, if you're a vocalist, do covers, covers, covers of trending sounds and trending songs. I can't tell you how many people I've seen on TikTok that I reached out to because they did a cover and it made me realize, oh man, they did that cover really well. I bet their solo stuff is fantastic and I would love to work with that person. So if I'm thinking that, imagine how many celebrities or A-lister musicians are on TikTok 
that are thinking the exact same thing. They all got the same mentality as we do. Prime example, Ashton or ASTN, his overall calm mood, his environment, and the overall vibe of the video, mixed with his incredible R&B vocal cover for Billie Eilish's song. Not only did that blow him up, get him millions of likes, but Phineas, Billie Eilish's brother, the guy who made the song with her, commented on it and gave respects to it. And last but not least, have fun. This is a very toxic and creative community and it can tear you down because those comments, they will eat you alive if you let it. So be strong, be proud and confident in your content and it can do wonders. I think I'm gonna end it there. The year 22 is extremely hopeful and it might surprise you. If this video was helpful in any way, please let me know in the comments. It would mean a lot to me. Like that smash button and subscribe to your boy. I got more videos like this coming, talking about TikTok and the music industry and all that good stuff. I'm constantly posting my lo-fi remixes and my funk remixes, as well as starting a podcast with my wife, interviewing a lot of guest stars that you probably know and love. Hope you all had a fantastic holiday. Hope you have a great new year coming up. And yeah, this is your best friend, Lusion. And I'll see you next time. Peace. Yeah.